it's, it's a lot more men are colorblind than they realize until they get into some sort of situation like that. Yeah, where, where it you bites don't them. know that yeah. that's what your problem is. I see that it's 530. Right on the y chromosome? I don't yep. know, but there are more of them. So I need to uh, convene this meeting of the Seminole River Valley Water District for May 4th, 2023. Colleen, would you take roll, please? President Smalley. Here. Vice President Hill. Here. Director Fulce. Here. Director Ackman. Here. Director Mayhood. Here. Okay. Um, any additions or deletions to the closed sessions? The staff has no, um, none. Okay. Um, oral communications regarding items in the closed session for the public to comment um, on any items in the closed session. I don't see any members of the public in attendance, so I think that we can adjourn. And no. it is 5.32. is uh, down the street at Scopazzi's at a wild game dinner. Oh, they're serving various selections. Of they do that very often. Yes. I, they used to have that at the, the Tivoli Garden or whatever it is. Oh, the, yeah, the, oh. yeah. The, German the first time yeah. I went there, I went, I drove by, I went, wild games. I love wild games. We got to go there. And you're So I'd like to convene uh, this meeting for the San Lorenzo Valley Water District for May 4th, 2023. Holly, would you take the roll again, please? President Smalley. Here. Vice President Hill. Here. Director Fulce. Here. Director Ackerman. Here. Director Mayhood. Here. Okay, thank you. Um, we took action on one item during the closed session, um, and I'd like uh, our outside counsel to report on that. Uh, Gina. Thank you, Mark. Um, the report from closed session is that the board voted unanimously uh, in favor of the district entering into a stipulation for judgment in the Vaughn case, Santa Cruz County case number 22CV02734. Thank you. Uh, moving on then, um, any additions or deletions direct uh, to the agenda? Yes, Chair, staff would like to remove item uh, 12A, uh, the Board of Directors minutes of 4623. Uh, we'll plan to bring those back to the next meeting, the second meeting in May. Okay. All right. Um, any objections to that deletion? Seeing none. Uh, moving on then, uh, oral communications. Uh, this um, is for members of the public that want to comment on any subject uh, within the district that is not on the agenda this evening. Um, I see two members of the public in attendance here and one online, so I'd like to open that up then. Uh, would anybody like to comment about that? Uh, here in attendance, uh, seeing none. Uh, online, we have one. Any comments? Not seeing any. Uh, we will move on then. Um, the president's report. Um, I would like to note um, in our um, written communications, 
this evening. We do have a um, an email stating that the Santa Margarita uh, Groundwater Agency has received approval from the State Department of Water Resources in April on the Groundwater Sustainability Plan. This sustainability plan has been something that uh, Santa Margarita Agency, of which our district has been a member of, um, and the agency has been working since 2017 uh, on putting this plan together. It was submitted um, in January 2022 to the state um, and has now been approved. So uh, a milestone accomplishment and I want to say thanks to staff and to all of the board members, uh, current and present, that have served on that agency. It's been a uh, somewhat of an arduous slog to get to this point. So good job. Can I just add one statement to that? Sure. Just, just to provide context is that um, we're one of only 24 of these GSPs that have been approved um, by the state so far. And they've um, rejected 49 of them as either being inadequate or incomplete. And they have another 54 that are still in review. So we came out of this very well. And the good news is that the comments that were in the letter commenting on our GSP uh, did not really have anything substantive that we have to take care of right away, only things that we have to take care of by the time the five-year review is up, which is good news for us because we had, as we were putting the um, budget together, we thought that we would uh, have to pay for consultants to deal with the things that were wrong, and there aren't any. Good. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, moving then on then to, I see no unfinished business. We can move on to new business. Um, the first item is a ratification of the emergency contract for Quail Hollow Road. Yes, thank you, Chair. Be before I ask the district engineer to report on this, I would, I would ask the board to limit uh, the discussion on this item as it could be potential uh, litigation. Um, and we can always bring this item back to closed session. Okay. Anything that you want to uh, I'll let the district engineer report on, on what this is. Okay. Uh, contract. Thank you, Rick. The contract in question is for emergency work with Anderson Pacific to repair uh, trench failure road subsidence issues on Quail Hollow Road at the intersection of Quail Hollow Circle, subsequent to storms and Pavement failure. Really, not much more to say about it. Okay. All right. Uh, questions then. Um, Gail? No, I don't have any questions. Jamie? No, thank you. Okay. Bob? No, no. no okay. comment. Okay. All right. Uh, I have a couple. Uh, Gina, if these are problematic questions, let me know and I will withdraw those. Um, Ken, uh, it's my understanding from the review that the uh, repair so far is temporary? Correct. Uh, is Anderson Pacific in a position to be able to come back and complete that then? Or? We have not discussed a permanent repair to date. Okay. Okay. All right. That's given that. I don't have any further questions then. Okay. Uh, then I'd like to uh, make the motion uh, that the board ratify the provided emergency services contract uh, for Anderson uh, Pacific for the uh, Trench failure. For the repair of the trench failure. Can I offer um, sure. uh, not to exceed $108,000? Okay. Thank you. Seconded. That's, okay. Thank you. Um, any uh, comments?
comments from members of the public? We see one. Hi, I'm Bruce Holloway. I live here in Boulder Creek. Um, and I've been a district customer for more than 40 years. Um, so I guess the way that this was uh, introduced, there is anticipated litigation. Has that been on an agenda already? Um, no, it has not. So somehow you've all you've all heard from the district council that there's anticipated litigation, but you haven't discussed this among yourselves. We heard from the district council this evening. Yes. Um, what what item was that? But just now, when just she just, just, just said, yeah. you, you heard what we heard. <laughs> right. Yeah. She commented two three minutes ago at the beginning of the. Okay. And we heard from the district manager also. All right. Um, so it's new to you as of like the, a few minutes ago. Yes. Okay. okay. So um, I guess the question that I was going to ask is um, what was wrong with the work last year? Uh, I guess. The, what I have heard is that the county agrees that the last one that touched it before it went out of bounds is responsible for it. Um, but I, I guess I was, I was specifically trying to understand what was wrong with the work last year because apparently that led to the failure. And I guess this is going to be a subject of litigation is what I'm hearing. Um, but the reason I was asking was how do we avoid these problems in the future? Um, really. Mark, if I could yes. just jump in here. Um, I think the, the question from Mr. Holloway is appreciated, but I would advise not putting that question to staff or response at this time. Okay. Well, based on the device council, Mr. Holloway, uh, we'll refrain from addressing your question at this point. I expect it will come up at a future meeting. Uh, once we see more on this issue. So thank you for raising it. Okay. Um, any other members of the public? Um, I don't see any at this point. So uh, we have a motion in front of us on the table. Um, Holly, would you take a vote on that, please? President Smalley. Yes. Vice President Hill? Yes. Director Fulz? Yes. Director Ackerman? Yes. Director Mayhood? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Moving on then to the next item. Uh, Rick? Yes, thank you. Uh, I'll ask the district engineer to uh, present uh, this item on an emergency contract. Or main location, main relocation on Highway 9 and Park Drive. Thank you, Rick. This contract is related to work performed on an emergency basis by Preston Pipelines for the district in order to clear our main out of the way for Caltrans work in repairing a slip out, generally known as the Jay's slip out or Jay's slide at the corner of California 9 and Park Drive in Ben Lomond. We had a small, a two inch main that had become exposed when the road base had slipped out into the ravine, leaving our pipe hanging in the air. And we were able to get Preston in to revise our alignment. They put in a new six inch pipe running from our six inch main in Highway 9 into the Shadow Brook neighborhood, allowing us to eliminate the piece of pipe that was threatened by the slide. With that, I will take questions. Okay. All right. Um, questions on this side? Jeff? No. Huh? Yeah, when they uh, put the six inch main in, was it put closer to the hillside as opposed to the? <laughs> it was effectively yeah, rotated side. 90 degrees. Rather than 90 degrees. The existing pipe was a two inch main running along the eastern edge of the northbound lane closest to the river. Okay. Connecting the blanking on 
the street name to the north of there, but connecting to another small inch and a half main that serves an, a residential area immediately north of there. What we did is eliminate the portion of two inch pipe between the last house north of the slip out and the Shadowbrook neighborhood and added a six inch connection into the six inch main in Highway 9 running perpendicular to Highway 9 tying into the existing distribution network within the Shadow Road neighborhood, allowing us to eliminate that connection. About how many feet was it? Roughly 35 feet of six inch pipe. 35 feet? Roughly. Okay. Okay. Um, Jamie? Any questions? Yeah. I was just going to say, I'm really glad to hear that that's what you did, because if you're just going to move it a little bit that this way or that way, I think that slide is going to slide for years. And we'd just be back doing it again. If they, if they fix it right, hopefully they won't. The, the Caltrans plan involves a new soldier pile and lagging wall yeah. and possibly some additional work. They haven't exactly established what they're doing yet. It's going to be like what they did up uh, further uh, north on Highway 9. I'm, sure. I'm just glad that you did a solution that gets us out of there. Well, because whatever they do, even if they fix it, it's going to take a long time. I and we don't want to be doing it again. Be so that was good thinking. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. <laughs> and keep in mind, this is the slide at Jay's Chamberlain yeah. uh, and not at the holiday. Not the holiday. Okay. So the, the so this big is mess. one of those the light is now where the one, yeah. one way signal is. Yeah, correct. So this is a little different. There's two slides, right? Okay. In general area. And is this is this portion of six inch line is this permanent? Correct. Okay. It is permanent okay. six inch line. So upside the lines. Lines. Yes. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So quick question here. Uh, just for clarification, it's my understanding then that by doing this, um, we're out of the way of Caltrans and they can do what they need to do with the road and we don't have to go back in afterwards and realign pipe again. So that's, in my mind, that's goodness. We, we solved our problem and got out of their way. Correct. That was the very direct intention. Yes. Was to make sure that we did not have to go back. Thank you. And is there any other work um, once Caltrans finishes that we need to do? And so there's no we are paving, there's nothing else. We, we're done. We are complete. And we're under the... Uh, and we came in under budget. Great. Good. Um, a thousand bucks a foot, but it was emergency and all the rest of it. Right? It's emergency so. work. They came in, they did it correctly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's FEMA eligible for reimbursement. Okay. Uh, well, given that, I'd like to make the motion uh, that the board ratify the provided emergency services contract for the relocation of the existing main um, for the um, not to exceed value of 82,522 um, for Preston Pipelines to do that work. Could I um, sure. suggest a small amendment Sorry. in the amount of 49,187? Yeah, okay. A friendly right, amendment. Friendly yeah. amendment, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Second. I second that. All right. Uh, well, now that we have a motion out, uh, any members of the public? Uh, wish to comment or question on this? Mr. Holloway. Thanks. Um, so this sounds like a much more favorable circumstance than the previous one. Um, here, the cause of the failure had nothing to do with the district. The district jumped on it and kept that neighborhood um, in business. Um, so that's all very favorable. And I guess I just wanted to ask about the financing. So is this the usual, the reimbursement, this is the usual deal where uh, FEMA pays 50% and the state pays 25% and the remainder is being paid, but in the long run, it's the district's responsibility. Yes. And the insurance that the district has doesn't cover this at all because uh, it's covered by uh, these emergency agencies. Isn't there? Go ahead. The the district uh, main lines are not insured. The underground uh, are not insured. 
Uh, but even if it, we were under a catastrophic federal disaster, it changes our deductible to the 500,000, so most likely we wouldn't have made deductible. Right. Any members of the public uh, that are attending online wish to comment? Okay. Seeing no further questions, Holly, would you take a roll call vote, please? Oh, thank you, Brian. Uh, President Smalley? Yes. Vice President Hill? Yes. Director Fulce? Yes. Director Ackman? Yes. Director Mayhood? Yes. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, that concludes the uh, new business, uh, the consent agenda. We have one item on there, minutes from the last meeting. Any objections to that? Seeing none, that's approved. Uh, district reports, district manager's report. Uh, Rick, do you have anything? I have nothing to report. Okay. Um, the only thing is the two written communications that we have left. Um, I see no other items that we have in front of us now. So, given that, I think we can. Adjourn. It's almost like an August meeting. Uh, take it when we can get it. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. We're good. Thank you. Now you can go to your wild games. <laughs> I'm not going. He can eat all Sounds of like them. a good day to get trichinosis. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>